Hello! It is indeed a great day, and it would be great because you will be with me for this session of TV Escuela DepEd Davo de Oro, especially to our grade 5 learners. This is the TV based instruction of Program of Division of Davo de Oro, where education continues at your respective television. It is my pleasure to be with you this time as we explore and learn more about Science 5. By the way, I am teacher Tiffany Ann Torrevilla Spandili from Libasan Elementary School, Nabunturan East District, your on-air teacher for this session. And welcome to our lesson in Science 5. Did you already fasten your seatbelt? We will be having a coaster of learnings. Are you ready? That's great! So, if you are ready, let's begin. I know you are excited to learn something new today. I hope everyone is ready. Just lend me your ears and stay tuned as we start our lesson. For now, I want you to get your module in Science 5, Quarter 2, Module 1. But before we go on to our topic for this lesson, please be guided that at the end of the lesson, you are expected to describe the parts of the reproductive system and their functions, identify its parts through illustrations, Explain the parts of reproductive system and its function. Our topic for this session is Lesson 1. The Male Reproductive System, Parts and Their Functions. Are you ready? Let's begin! What I know. But first, I want you to open your Moodle and open it on page 2. I will read to you the direction first. Determine the parts of the reproductive system by arranging the jumbled letters in each item. The description opposite the jumbled letters will help you come up with the correct word. Number one, it is located below the uterus. It is cervix number two it is the external male organ what do you think is number two it is penis number three it is the mixture of fluid and sperm it is salmon let's proceed to number four they produce sperm cells. It is testes. Number five. It carries egg cell from the ovary to the uterus. It is oviduct. Number six. It is the passageway of both urine and semen. It is urethra. Number seven. It provides food to the developing fetus. It is uterus. Number eight. They produce female reproductive hormones. It is ovaries. Number nine. It secretes fluid that is mixed with sperm cells. It is prostate gland. And number 10, it is a temporary storage of sperm cells before they release to the urethra. It is seminal vesicle. Now, I want you to turn your module on page 3. What's in? Tell whether the physical change 
happens to a male or to a female. Copy the table and check the proper column. Okay? Let's start. Appearance of beard. Male or female? Correct! That is for the male. Development of breast. Is it for a male or female? Correct! It's for the female. Hips become wider. Is it for a male or for the female? Correct! It's for the female. How about Adam's apple gets bigger? Is it for a male or for the female? Correct! It's for the male. Muscles become bigger and bigger. Is it for the male or for the female? Bravo! It's for the male. You get it? Okay, good job! Let's proceed to page 4. Study the illustration of the male reproductive system below. Then, identify the parts being described. Let's start with number 1. It is the external part male organ which is covered by foreskin. It's penis. Number two. This is a pair of pouch-like socks that serves a skin covering of the testes. It is scrotum. Number three. It is the gland that produces sperm cells male sex hormones. It is testes. Great job! Let's proceed to number four. It is the narrow coiled tube that stores immature sperm cells. It is epididymis. And number five, it is the passageway of both urine from the urinary bladder and semen from the glands. It is urethra. Number six. These are sock-like pouches attached to the vas deferens which produce a sugar-rich fluid that gives energy to sperm cell motility. It is seminal vesicles. And number seven, it connects the testes to the seminal vesicle and urethra. It is vas deferens. Number eight, it is a pea-sized organ found beneath the prostate gland which releases fluid that flushes out foreign matter. It is Cowper's gland. And number nine, this is walnut-sized gland located between the bladder and the penis, which releases fluid that nourishes the sperm. It is prostate gland. And number 10, it is found at the tip of the penis. It is glands. Are you still with me, class? Always remember that penis is the external male organ with a tip called glands. It is covered with foreskin that may be removed through circumcision and acts as a conduit for urine to leave the body. Then scrotum is a pair-like sucks that supports the testes. It also controls its temperature because the testes must be slightly cooler than the body to produce sperm cells.
while testes are the glands that produce sperm cells and male sex hormones called testosterone. Epididymis is a narrow coiled tube that stores immature sperm cells until they mature and where they are temporarily stored before their release. Urethra, it is the passageway of both urine from the urinary bladder and semen from the glands. These are sac-like pouches attached to the vas deferens. It is seminal vesicle. And vas deferens is a long muscular tube that serves as passageway of the sperm cells released from the testes. While Cowper's gland, or it is called as bulbourethral gland, one of the two pea-sized organs found beneath the prostate gland, and it is also responsible in releasing the fluid that flushes out foreign matter and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. Next part of the male reproductive organ is a prostate gland. It is a walnut-sized gland located between the bladder and the penis, and it also secretes fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm. Last is the glands. It is the tip of a penis. So that's it. Did you learn something? Wow, it is good. And I am also glad that you learned from our lesson for this session. I want you to get your paper and ball pen. Answer what's more, activity one, page six. But first, let me read to you the direction. Identify the parts of a male reproductive system that will complete the following sentences. You may find the words written horizontally or vertically in the word search puzzle. Write your answers on your paper. And on activity two, you get another sheet of paper, but I will read to you the direction first. Label the parts of the male reproductive system. And on activity three, put a check mark if the given part is for male reproductive system and a cross mark if it is not. Write your answers on your paper. I will give you time to do it. You may now start. <laughs> Are you done? That's good! Always remember, just by looking at a person, you can tell whether the person is a male or a female. This is because males and females have differences in terms of body structures. And that is because of human reproductive system. Once again, this is teacher Tiffany Ann Torrevillas Pandili from Libasan Elementary School, Nabunturan East District. Always remember, dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!